Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from the Automation Blog and School. And in this episode of Automation Tech Tips, I want to share a product with you that I found a few months back. It's a pretty awesome product for the price. It simulates a Control Logics chassis full of I.O. with a controller. It also simulates RS Logics Studio 5000, right? And it simulates 11 virtual applications. So this is an all-in-one package for under $300 that does all of that. So I just think it's great for people who want to learn or practice programming because, you know, the price of the least expensive RS Logic Studio 5000 is, I think, $370 a year for Mini. That's LiDAR Logic only for Compact Logics only. And then a Compact Logics, you know, if you have a good relationship with your distributor, probably a thousand bucks to get a like an L1 or um, you can probably buy some used for around that price, maybe something a little bit bigger off of uh, off of the used market, right? Recycled. Um and then you have to buy inputs and outputs. And then you're trying to simulate like real world applications using buttons and switches and lights, which we do pretty successfully in my courses. You know, we have motors going and photo eyes and inductive proxies and all kinds of stuff happening. But still, what this package does is it not only emulates the PLC, it not only simulates RS logics, but um, it also simulates 11 different applications. So let me show this to you. It's called PLC Logics. 5000 and we're actually selling it now on we're an authorized reseller for it on the automation school and uh, we also have a link there if you want to buy it directly from the vendor you can still save um you know 15 dollars off the 300 dollars price by using a coupon and um, i also do a course if you buy it from us right it's not only you know you get that 15 dollars off the list price of 295 but you also get my full course on how to use it and how to program it which is pretty cool and I got to say, I really enjoyed using it. Now, uh, this is what the software looks like. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and just do File New so you can see what happens here. Now, again, the, the chassis of hardware, it's all simulator, right? You don't need to buy a PLC. But because of that, it's kind of fixed. It's a fixed controller. It's a fixed I.O. So we don't really can't change anything in here except for like the, the name. Let's just call this ATT for Automation Tech Tips. And I'm going to do OK. Excellent. So here we are, right? Now, there are 11 different I.O. worlds, and I have some B-roll I'll, I'll put up there from my training course over at the Automation School to show you what some of them look like. I really particularly like the ones about batching, where you have a big mixer that you have to mix and heat and put different uh, recipes in and make batches of it. I also like the conveyor one with the silo, where you fill up different containers with different amounts of um, product. There's some other ones too. There's an air compressor one. There's a car wash one. There's a streetlight one, which is pretty fun to do with the crosswalks. Do add in the crosswalks to it can be a little, little uh, uh, complicated. But um, just uh, like I said, they got all these different I/O worlds. You can see them here in this list here. And for what we're gonna do, I'm just gonna do the I/O rack. That's uh, world number one. And this is just really a simulated. You know, this just simulates a trainer where you would have buttons and switches and lights and analog sliders and digital displays and whatnot. So um, what we'll do here is we'll just do something really simple, right? I'll just bring in an XIC, I'll drop it there. I'll bring in an OTE, I'll drop it here. Now again, what we're seeing is a simulation of RS Logics or Studio 5000. This isn't really RS Logics or Studio 5000, right? You can kind of see some differences here, like the IO looks a little different. If I open up some of the properties on these IO modules, I can't change everything in here. Again, it's a simulation, right? But I think for learning and for under $300, it's it's well worth checking out. In any case, let me go ahead and here. I'm not going to go through creating tags. As a matter of fact, in my course, you can create all your tags you want, but I actually give the students a tag stop file. So, that, you know, some of the lessons you need like 20 or 30 tags. So I didn't want people having to get bogged down in creating all those tags. So I just give them a start file so they have all the tags already made if that's what they want to use. Um, but in any case, let's do local one. You can see that's an input card here. Local one, input data zero. Okay, and then I already got the output in here. And so we'll do local two output zero. Okay, I mean, simple, right? So let's go ahead now, because the hardware is fixed, there's really no RS links to set up, right? There's only one simulated emulated PLC. It has the same I.O. no matter what application is being used. So all we have to do right here is just go online. So if you're looking for something that's going to teach you how to like set up RS links and introduce you to all the hardware, I have courses that do that. But this, this software is really for those who just want to 
really learn how to program, right? I'm just going to click on this push button right here. You can see it came on and the Apple came on and there you go. So in my course, I kind of go through all this and I also go through some of the more complicated IO worlds. Like, let me just pull up the batch processing here. Right. So you can see this one. This one's actually pretty complicated because you can see you're going to enter the number of batches in here and that's in BCD. So we've got to use a Fred to get that over to decimal. And then we got to use a Todd to get the completed badges over here to the BCD output. And not that BCD is extremely popular these days, but it's a skill you should have, right? You should understand math conversions. And then here we have a select the switch to choose which recipe we're doing. Um, one of the recipes brings in two ingredients and mixes them. We got a heater down here. We have to control these lights. And the big thing with this one is we have to do, like if I dial in five batches, it has to make that recipe five times. So, you know, fill, mix, heat, drain, fill, mix, heat, drain. So pretty, pretty good one that we go through. You can see here too, we have some, a little bit of control over the simulation. You know, I can kind of do different views here and, uh, you know, look at it from different angles, which I think is very, very cool. And then uh, the other one I really like is the, you know, for, for being a lot like a uh, process that you run into in the field is silo. So silo here, right? You're filling up different size containers, right? So you have these photo eyes, you have a level sensor, you're turning this on and off here to fill up the product. You, um, it's just, it's just, you're controlling the conveyor, you're controlling which, which, uh, you know, recipe depends on how high you have to fill the box. So just a lot of good different applications to try your wits on. Traffic can be easy and it can be difficult depending on how far you want to take it. Just controlling the lights, the traffic lights based on the sensors, the car sensors in the, in the road, that's fairly easy. But trying to integrate the crosswalks and then do the delayed timing because, you know, you, you know, if somebody walks up and hits the button, you, you, you don't want to turn the lights on right away because cars may be in the middle of intersections or you get a delay there. And so, um, there's a lot to think about. And, you know, there's multiple ways to write, the, you know, a program to solve an application too, which is always very important. But in any case, I wanted to show you this again. It's $2.95, but with our coupons, either at the automation school or if you use my coupon over at the vendor site, you're going to save $15. Now, if you do buy it at the automation school, you get my course for free. Okay. I think it's a four hour course, including exercises. And I stepped through several, you several, solving several of these applications. So from simplest to more complex. So if you're new, let's say you're new, you troubleshoot a lot, but you don't write a lot of programs from scratch. This is really going to bring you through. Now, again, it doesn't replace my regular course because in that course, I cover the hardware, I cover flashing, I cover communications, I cover messaging between PLCs, I cover connected VFDs. I mean, I cover so much HMIs and all kinds of stuff. So this isn't going to get that. This is really just for writing applications. But I thought it was really cool. I want to share it with you. I'll have another tech tip in probably next month. They got a new version coming out with some excellent new features. I'm sitting down with them next week to learn about them. So I can't wait to share those with you. But with that said, that's the end of this automation tech tip. I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, my friends, peace.